Silhouette have posted an update to their mobile app. Um, I have to say right off the bat, it's much improved over the version I was looking at earlier. If you take an image and try to resize it, it's very easy to do. The first version I had, it just wouldn't let me grab the handles and do that. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview here. When you tap the S, it takes you to the design store. And it doesn't have in everything in there right now, but eventually it will have all your images in the cloud. And you'll have fonts, your library, you'll have patterns. I'm going to have a quick look at fonts and see what's in there. I have to double tap. Okay, so I just purchased this the other day. So this font is in here. And this is one of the things I found the other day when I was testing the app the first time around. The buttons are not very responsive. They're much better than they were, but I'm still finding that a little bit. So now I'll look into patterns. I have to double tap it. And I'll go back. I'll look into library. User designs, there's nothing there. I guess there's because I've designed nothing on the iPad itself. And then I'm going to look at recent downloads. I have a Merry Christmas script phrase. And is there anything in my recycle bin? No, there isn't. I can create folders by tapping the image of a folder with a plus sign here. So I'm just going to name it uh, personal. No, I guess that would be in my library. No, it didn't create it. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's kind of strange. Let me try that again. I'm going to create, um, I'm going to call this one now Karen. Tap OK. And it's not showing up on the screen now. I think I have to go back, or maybe I have to sync it. Okay, and then it shows up. All right. So I'm going to go to this folder here. I'm going to insert the car onto my mat. I'm going to remove the butterfly. And the way to do that is you have to tap this arrow and then tap the X. Select it and tap the X to delete something. If you want to duplicate something, you would tap this icon. It looks like two sheets of paper. So that would duplicate something. I can pinch the screen and make my mat smaller. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. This icon is for grouping. So I've grouped that. I'm going to ungroup it. Let me see if that's this. Okay. That seems to be that, okay. The icons are not very intuitive. It's a little hard to figure them out. And let's see what this one is doing. I'll select this. Doesn't seem to do anything. If I select both, I cannot tap that. So that's not available. I wonder if that's supposed to be, okay, well that seems to have grouped. That must be a compound path or something because that's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to ungroup that. Okay, that's ungrouped again. So I'm going to have to look into what those are exactly. There's an undo. I have to tap the arrow first to be able to tap the undo button. And that's undoing several times. There's a redo. That brought my butterfly back. There are some tools here for flipping images. So let's see what this does. That's flipping my image up and down. This one is going to flip it left and right. This one is rotating my image clockwise and this one is rotating my image counterclockwise. So I have to tap the button to be able to access anything else. 
This icon over here is, resembles your cutter and I have downloaded the link software so it shows that my Cameo is attached to my iMac and I would be able to cut from here. I'm not going to be showing you that today, I'm just showing you it basically around the application. In the settings icon, which is this one right over here, you have help. Whoops. Well, there isn't much in there. There's just about telling you the version of the app. There's a file menu. You could start a new file. You can save or save as. So let's see, I'm going to just call this a test file. Tap OK. So now if I go into my folders on the cloud. OK, I don't know why it inserted that. Remember, this is still a beta, a beta version. Okay, so I'm going to tap the cloud icon um, and then in the library, there should be user designs. There it is. It has saved my file right there. I'll tap the S again to go back to my mat. I'm going to remove this. So I need to tap the Cameo icon and then go to the wrench. No, go to the, to the uh, arrow tap the X to delete that item. And there's something else there. I don't know what that line is. Okay, it seems to have inserted a whole bunch of things. So remember, this is still a beta version. Back to um, the settings menu. There's a page settings option, so you can choose your page size. You can choose the media type, and there's a listing of them here. So let's say if I were to choose um, copy paper, it has the settings on the screen for me. And you have the cutting mat. So you can choose the size of your cutting mat, whether you're using a 12 by 12 or 12 by 24, a stamp mat, pick skin, or a portrait mat, or none. There are, there's an options choice. You can choose your language. You can change your user information. You can deregister your device and you can exit the program. So going back into it, it doesn't take too long to load. The first thing that I had noticed though that I find strange is that you can't turn your device around. I'm working on an iPad mini and I'd like to be able to work on it in a landscape view where I have a wider screen rather than a tall screen and it doesn't let you do that. It only works in one direction. Okay, so after that, when we're back in the tool settings, you could see that you have a you have a cut icon which lets you cut to the machine. You would load your media and then tap OK there is a cut settings icon where you can choose whether you're using a cutting blade or a sketch pen. You can rotate the um, blade depth with your finger. You can change the speed by dragging the circle here up or down and you can change your thickness and I'm sure you can type it in as well. No, you cannot type it in. You can only change that by dragging this circle up and down and then you would tap OK to be done there. So that's it for right now. That's a brief overview of the um, mobile app. As more information becomes available, I will pass it on to you. Thanks so much for watching.